Hey guys, good morning. Welcome to today's video. Um, we are doing our long Sunday ride today. Unfortunately, it is pretty cloudy and drizzly out here. You can tell from, I think you can see from the uh, table behind me. I think it may have stopped raining, actually. I think it, the drizzle is just coming from uh, the trees up above. So hopefully, we're pretty clear with any heavy rains during our ride. It's actually mostly a new route today. Um, so yeah, hopefully we're clear with any thunderstorms actually. Thunderstorms I thought was going to happen, but it. I looked at the weather channel app again and it said that we were clear of thunderstorms. So that's good. I can deal with rain. I just don't like the thunderstorms. Happy 4th of July to all of our viewers in the U.S. This is our Independence Day. And uh, what better way to celebrate the freedom that we enjoy in this country than to ride your bike all day. So that's what we're doing today. It's, uh, it's a new route, which is exciting, totally new route. and. Our destination point is Dottie's Diner in uh, Woodbury, Connecticut. I hear they make some good donuts, so we're heading out that direction. And hopefully, they're at, I think they're still open today, but uh, hopefully their hours are such that you know they'll still be open when we get there. Yeah, it's uh, going to be about. Uh, 80 miles today, maybe a little bit under six hours. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited about this ride, except for the fact that it's chilly and it's wet and chilly at the moment and it's, there's a chance of rain. So hopefully we can avoid that. Yeah, Joy is uh, Joy's pretty chilly. She's got her leg warmers on and everything. And I'm not gonna go with the leg warmers partially because, really? yeah, well, I just spent some good amount of time shaving my legs yesterday. So no leg warmers for me. I'm exposing my legs today. Yeah, this is not the, uh, not the type of weather that we typically associate with the 4th of July. You know, it's usually pretty hot and sunny and maybe humid around this time, but yeah, this is, uh, and, and it actually, it has been hot and humid here recently, uh, but it just, the, it finally broke. And uh, it happened, that break in the heat happened to, to come at the end of this week. So now it's gonna be a little bit on the cool side for a good part of this ride. And, uh, but I think it's gonna warm up to about 70 or so later. So anyway, gonna get going with this, uh, with this warm up, and uh, we'll see how the, how the ride goes. I, I really am gonna just have to watch the uh, the route to see where to go because I have a general idea but really nothing framed in my mind as to how this the roads look like on this ride so it'll be something new
So um, we are here at the Lake Lilanona boat launch now. So the ride over here, they just paved uh, Route 133, also known as Obtuse Hill Road, and it is amazing uh, going downhill and uphill because it's kind of like a up and down kind of hilly uh, segment of the road. So that was fun to go up and down in. We've ridden past, we've ridden on that road before, before it was paved and it was just riddled with potholes and I um, just absolutely hated it going downhill and also riding up it. But now that it's newly paved, it's so much fun. Also, since I'm wearing the rain jacket and we were just talking about how because it's waterproof, it really doesn't do a great job at uh, taking away the uh, moisture from the sweat. And so I feel like there's a puddle of sweat that's collecting in the uh, inside the um, rain jacket. Um, but I want to make sure that I do keep it on um, while we're riding because if I'm sweating and it's a little cooler out here, it's comfortable now, but it is cooler when we start riding, um, I end up getting cold. So I'm just going to put it back on once we get riding again. So part of the route that we're going to ride through is uh, we are heading over to Washington, not the state of Washington or Washington, D.C., uh, Washington, Connecticut. And uh, to get there, uh, we're going to be riding on some dirt, about four miles of dirt roads. And the awesome thing is that Strava has a, a global heat map if you are a subscriber to Strava. And that's one of the ways that I use um, our premium subscription is to map all these fun routes to ride through. So according to the global heat map, it, said, it says that we are going to be uh, riding on some dirt. Uh, I think it's through Roxbury into Washington. The first stop will be a cafe called Marty's Cafe. And then we're going to head on over to Bantam from there and go up 202 to Arethusa's again. No ice cream though. We learned our lesson from the last ride that ice cream and hilly roads do not mix or not even hilly roads. Ice cream and riding for some reason does not mix. And uh, anyway, from Bantam, we're gonna head over to Woodbury in hopes to catch uh, Dottie's Diner. Hopefully they are still open by the time we get there. Or according to Google, it said that they are open or wait, it said they are observing July 4th. It doesn't say closed. It still had their hours. So let's cross our fingers that all these cute little stops that we're gonna uh, stop at are, are open. wet and a little slippery but um, I do like these roads overall though the, the roads in this area are pretty quiet and um, in pretty good condition too uh, so it's it's a pleasure to uh, to ride it it's kind of an undulating terrain uh, some some minor uh, ups downs and some flat parts so it's it's a nice you know rolling terrain where are we now, Roxbury? 
I think this is Roxbury still. Okay, yeah. All right, so uh, nature break time, and uh, we'll uh, get back riding soon. Jason fell over on this section here, uh, took the wrong way. I took us the wrong way. He got up here, fell, and I think he fell on the drive side of his bike. And so the rear derailleur was bent and he was able to get it back to straighten it out. And uh, hopefully- I think it's still bent. It's just, I think hopefully it's, hopefully it's rideable, but I, it still looks bent to me. While we're walking this out here, might as well talk about how our training is going. And uh, we're almost done with this Grand Fondo training plan that we're doing. Of course, we're not actually doing a Grand Fondo this year. Um, but we are going to be doing a we're do, taking vacation in uh in maine in uh about three weeks and um planning a, a quite long ride while we're there i think it's 140 miles or something uh not that much climbing so we we're sort of equating it to like a century ride with climbing um but that's kind of what we're training for, I guess I would say. And uh, yeah, the uh, the training plan is in the peak phase right now, and starting to get starting to get difficult. Definitely, uh, this week was week two of the peak phase. Week one went fine. Week two started to to feel some accumulated fatigue, and. Uh, ready for a recovery week next week. I'm, uh, I've got to tell you, I'm relieved to, to be back on, on pavement uh, and that we're done with that dirt road. The, um, the end of that dirt road was actually pretty nice. It was pretty smooth dirt, um, but you know, we had like a hiking trail. It turned into a hiking trail in, in the middle of that, um, that stretch, and uh, we had to get off our bikes for a lot of that. So I'm glad that we're back on the pavement and can get moving again. Bye-bye. 
Okay, so we're here in Bantam now, and uh, we just stopped. Uh, this building behind me is Arethusa, and just stopped in to get water. No ice cream today. Uh, just want to make sure that we're good because this is about an 80-mile ride. A um, few things that we didn't get to stop and talk to you guys about what happened. Um, we wound up taking this dirt road. Strava suggested this particular route, and it goes around the Chapag River. The problem is it is a hiking trail, not a dirt road where you can actually ride your bikes through. And so Jason, unfortunately, fell uh, in one of the rockier parts that we went through and he bent his derailleur. So now we have to, he's, he's kind of, he's not really, he's not able to use his, I believe his 30 cog and the 27 cog. We're hoping that the plan is to stop at uh, Southbury, maybe the, the bike shop is open and hopefully they can fix it. We're trying these, um, these things called ass savers. It's like a, uh, you know, flap here that you attach behind your, your uh, saddle and uh, it's supposed to help water and, you know, dirt, whatever, from splashing up, you know, into your butt. So I guess it's been effective because, uh, you know, we did, we were on the dirt road, wet dirt road for a while and uh, I don't have, I don't think I have anything on my butt, so I think it's working. So we made it to Dottie's Diner uh, just in time, or actually not quite in time because they, they close at one on holidays and we made it here at like 10 after one, but they were very nice and uh, let us inside to, uh, to get a couple of donuts. So mission accomplished there. And uh, it's, I'm really happy that we got to try it because I mean, number one, they're, the donuts are delicious but we, uh, this was kind of the destination point for our ride, so I'm glad that we didn't ride 50 miles to uh, be disappointed. So we're about 50 miles in, uh, three and a, I think three and a half hours-ish, maybe a little more than that. It doesn't really feel like we've done 50 miles already, but I guess it's been pretty flat for a while now. So there must be, uh, I don't remember how much climbing there is in total for this route, but we're probably going to hit some climbing coming back. So it's already ooh, two o'clock and I expected for us to be back home by three and I don't think that's going to happen because we have about 20 miles left of riding to do and we still have to do a climb that's beyond this road up George Waldo State Park and a couple of other climbs um, up, up uh, Obtuse Hill so it was the same hill that we came down on uh, this morning we're going to ride up that hill. And we still have to do Elbow Hill. So this day is turning out to be a long one. Thank God I called my sister earlier and she said that she's able to take the dogs out because they've been inside for quite some time now. Um, yeah, so as you guys can see, the sun kind of peeks through in and out of the clouds. Um, when we were in Southbury, the, car the clouds were pretty dark and it drizzled for a little bit and then it stopped. Now, it's, um, the sun is out, which I don't think is a good thing because we're gonna be uh, doing this climb and I hate it when the sun beats down on us uh, on a climb, so.
am down to half a bottle of water and we still have about 10 miles left to go and we need to do two more climbs obtuse hill and elbow hill and uh i feel like i can't eat as much because i need water or i need something to wash it down with and i'm trying to ration my half a bottle of water so yeah um i think that was poor planning on my part because i didn't factor in one more stop after um after daddy's diner which was all the way in woodbury so we definitely could have used another stop um prior to to getting here but we took some a lot of back roads and uh there wasn't really many uh there wasn't really much around to really stop um and i also i'm having this this uncomfortable sensation in my nether region and it bothers me when we climb and so that angle and the act of pedaling um bothers my bothers that area so anyway i'm not a happy camper right now but i'm gonna try to pull it through um and uh, so that we can get home Well, we did make it back safe and sound. Uh, Jason was able to um, give me half of the bottle of whatever was left over in his water bottle. And that's how I was able to pretty much stay hydrated. Thankfully, he had that. Otherwise, I don't know if I would have been able to make it. Jason's derailleur, though, took it to the bike shop. And that's where they diagnosed that derailleur hanger cracked. Unfortunately, they were not able to, they didn't have the part there, so um, the downside was that it was in back order. Um, it wouldn't have been available until July 10th. Um, luckily, we were able to find the derailleur hanger uh, on a website and ordered it, overnighted, and got it installed. Um, and so now he's ready to go again. Since this video is getting longer than I expected it to be, um, I'm just going to end it here. Actually, stay tuned, guys, um, for next week. Uh, we will be heading to Maine, and so you won't see any videos uploaded, but um, I am working on a, hopefully, a travel documentary of our trip, so stay tuned for that. Until next time, don't forget to enjoy the ride. Bye-bye.